Very often, poorly thought out ideas are expressed by Christians, Muslims, and other religious people as some kind of knockdown argument. I've pointed out an error within a belief, and therefore I can dismiss it. The big mistake with this is to presume that you actually have solid information when really you're just simply clutching at straws. A good example, a Christian commenter underneath one of my videos expressed the point that Allah is derived from Baal. So by going by that logic, he could dismiss the Muslim God and the Muslim faith in its totality by merely saying that the God of the Muslims is basically derived from Baal. The term he used for Baal was Baala. Baala is something that's been made to fit. It's not noted within the Arabic traditions. That's to say the pre-Muslim, polytheistic, and even some monotheistic terms for any god. And Baal, of course, was this storm and fertility god, and the term Baal refers to Lord. But when you look back over the history of the term Allah, it does not go to Baal. It goes back to the Aramaic term for God. Aramaic, which you may be familiar with, was the language that was spoken in the time of Jesus. It's highly plausible that Jesus himself would have used the term, the Aramaic term, from which Allah is derived. Al-Allah passed on and becomes Allah, Christian kings and semi-Jewish and Abrahamic traditions within the Arab Peninsula after the time of Jesus certainly passed on many of the ancient ideas coming from the so-called Holy Land, meaning that the connection for the term Allah, previously known as Al-Allah, would not be something out of the blue. Arabia and the so-called Holy Land are right next to each other. And as I say, they were Christian kings. Christian kings who dominated large areas of Arabia. There was the pilgrimage business in Mecca, where people would go on their pilgrimage much as they do today. The traditions of that particular location were grounded in not merely paganism, but also Jewish and Christian ideas. Many of these ideas merged. Many of these ideas were in conflict. And so different areas would follow different versions of belief combining the ancient Arabian gods along with Persian and other deities of the region. The largest influences within the Muslim faith relate to that of Judaism and Christian culture. It's not a great leap to imagine that the term Al-Allah was adapted to Allah and that there is no connection to Baal, a god that relates largely to the Phoenicians in northern Canaan. Although it may be possible that such a connection could be found or could be made to fit, we have no reason to presume this to be the case.